Hey everyone, in this video we'll be learning about .NET MAUI button control just like this and here we'll be learning about the button clicks and along with that we'll be integrating some type of alerts so whenever the button is clicked and the rotation too you can just check it out so we'll get started with this type of control using the xaml language and the similarly we'll be implementing it via c sharp too so let's get started with the video at first let's create dot net maui blank project where uh, uh, we'll just search for maui project and then select the dot uh, net maui project that will come at top that is uh, going to be the jaml based xaml that is extended markup language we'll be using xaml in this tutorial whereas we'll be taking our dot net maui button control in our next tutorial where we'll be using c sap code only to uh, implement this button control and play around with those values now let's remove the whole code from here and uh, we'll just make this main page as a blank and here inside the dot cs2 we'll just uh, remove all the code because we don't want anything inside the main page dot jaml dot cs and this page is going to be called at first whenever our application starts so you can see inside our app dot jaml dot cs here we are going to tell that uh, app cell please start our uh, uh, main page dot jaml so here you can see that is our app cell that is going to be acting as like a cell which encapsulates our main page dot jaml you can see this is just a ui and in our dot net maui ui are called pages so here we are going to tell that main page please start uh, yourself from the app cell and uh, the whole application gets started uh, by calling the whole app cell only so now here i'm just going to set my android project and try to run this uh, uh, whole uh, application maui app in our android emulator so nice we got our application running now it's time to just i'll just make this uh, android emulator side by side so that we'd be uh, writing and learning the button control whenever our tutorial goes ahead so here you can see this is just the ui and here at the top this is just a content page now i'm just going to change the title of that uh, whole page uh, to something like uh, maui and then uh, button so tutorial all right so here you can see the title bar just came up and uh, with the uh, title level so here now i'll just create one button so you can see the button has filled uh, the whole entire space because we have not set any type of uh, properties of button control inside our dotnet maui project so now we'll be playing around with all the properties that uh, comes up in our button control so we'll be trying to cover lots of properties inside our button control so here you can see i just give that button to something like uh text as maui button and it has a, has a clickable property too so you can see that looks really nice so here we have one option called as vertical option or uh, for the button so here vertical option i am putting that button to a center so that it aligns to the center of the whole screen because we have not set any type of parent layout and here i am going to tell that parent be yourself button keep yourself inside the parent that is whole content page and put yourself to a center so here you can see it has centralized that whole um, button to the particle option as center as well as horizontal option as center that's looking really nice so we got our tiny little button that will be placed at the center of the screen now we have another property named as border color and you can see here i have set the border color of my button to something like uh, black and it will just uh, fill the uh, button with the black border but here the black border should have some width i'll just put that uh, the width but here you can see i have set the background color of the button to red so that it is going to be visible but here the border width is not there that is like uh, the thickness so here if i provide the border thickness with uh, three then uh, it will just uh, fill that thing up and it is going to look uh, really good that is our button control now it's time to put some character spacing so you can see here uh, i'm just putting the character spacing to something like uh, i can just put anything where you can see on our right the ui how it fluctuates so let me just remove that thing up all right so here uh, the character spacing would be near around uh, 
टू सो हियर द होल कैरेक्टर्स इन दैट होल सेंटेंस गेट्स स्पेस टू थ्री पिक्सल्स एज वेल एज हाउ मच पिक्सल दैट वी रियली वॉन्ट सो इट डिपेंड्स ऑन दैट देन now here we have two property that is our width request of the button as well as the height request of the button so you can put any width for the button too so you can see over here uh, i can just put 150 or uh, uh, anything as i like so here you can just play around with those values and uh, implement it as of your own and now what happens is here i have just put the width of 190 so uh, that's enough for me uh, as of now to in order to demo it and then along with that i can just provide you the height request of that whole button so here you can see the height request i have just set it to 60 so that ends the height request as well as width request we have another property in our name as font size here you can see we have lots and lots of properties but we can just use some uh, numeric values too so that we can see uh, what type of uh, uh, font size that a uh, whole button holds for its text so here body so you can see on my right the body uh, is getting changed that is our hot reload is working fine we have another attribute that is our buttons uh, font attribute so here bold italic as well as uh, the underline is also there so you can just play around with those uh, uh, values too so here i'll just put that uh, font attributes to italic or bold now here we are going to use another property name as line break mode so we have lots and lots of properties for line break mode so here you can see the middle truncation is going to truncate that whole text from middle so that's why there is something called as a middle truncation for our button text so here i'm just going to increase the button text so here you can see from the middle the whole line is truncated and uh, head truncation is uh, the uh, head truncation of that whole text uh, in our button and then tail truncation is going to end uh, from the uh, last so here line break mode no uh, wrap is to wrap the whole text inside that uh, button control so we have pretty completed all the uh, implementation of uh, the ui controls and we have a very good looking um, .NET MAUI button text it's time for adding the text color so here i'm just going to add the text color of that uh, button so you can just play around with those values so here you can see beach is the color of that whole text so that's why it is coming out like this and then text color of that uh, whole button text i have changed to blue magenta and then uh, white so everything works fine you can see so you can play around with that uh, text uh, color values too now let's add another property named as padding so here you can see the padding is from the inside of this this control so just like frame button has uh, in internal internal paddings so that uh, we can uh, put to all the uh, ui elements in the middle of the control so here you can see the feeding 15 padding comes from the left side 15 the top side 15 as well as right as well as bottom so only one declaration of the value is going to put that padding uh, equally to all the positions that is left top right and bottom here you can see i'm just going to put one so that means uh, the padding is one from left top right and bottom so here we are not going to put uh, anything like a uh, uh, one here i'll just put uh, the left top right and bottom as 5 comma 5 comma 5 comma 5 so from the, uh, here uh, left one and then from top right and bottom 5 comma 5 so let's remove that one and then put uh, 10 as a padding from left uh, 25 from top as well as uh, from right uh, 35 and then uh, from bottom something like 15 so here you can see uh, it has already been removed right so from the whole ui so that is how the padding is going to work so it depends upon you and your use case where you are going to use so i'll just put whole padding to 0 comma 0 comma 0 from left top right and bottom if you want to transform your button that is our maui button to the image button you will be going to the resources folder where we'll just find the images folder inside it then we'll just put that image inside the 
image folder and here you can see all the text are lowercase that is because for our android and uh, the android really recommend you to put all the text to lower caps and then in middle some type of uh, underscores are also allowed so here if you want to put some images for the button then we can just put the image source as a property and then put the text with dot spg dot png or anything as you like and put some height as well as with request for that whole button so that the button uh, with the image appears and remove all the properties that are like background color or anything as like because we just want the image button to be displayed if the image does not appear then you need to restart the whole application because uh, the hot reload won't work for our images so i will just restart the whole application so that we'll get that image button on our android emulators let's wait for some time till our application get built so here you can see great so we got our button image but here you can see the backward of the button image is our old frame of the button that is uh, with the background color as well as the border width so we need to just remove all those border color as well as the background because we just need the uh, button image so in order to do that let's remove this whole uh, code and then here you can see that is our button and then if we put that button to vertical option as center and expand then horizontal option as center and expand too so the vertical option will act as like same because it uh, takes that whole button to uh, the center of the screen so uh, that is how our uh, uh, button works so we just have some very good uh, button click effects too whenever the button is pressed now let's play more with the button control so i'll just uh, press ctrl and z and then we'll revert back to the same original code from where we left now we'll just remove this image source because we just don't want any type of image as of now and uh, we'll just restart our application because it won't remove the uh, image from the button so now i'll just restart the whole application so let's restart it all right so our application got started so let's wait for some time so here you can see it's our maui buttist button that we have already built before now here we have another property for the button uh, that we'll be using in order to make it a little bit fancy i'm just going to use the corner radius property so here you can see the corner radius is 30 for our button that means from every side the 40 30 pixel is going to be reduced and here the border width can also be changed and i really recommend you to play around with all those uh, uh, properties of your own and make a very beautiful button we have another property for the button that is rotation x as well as y that is our x axis as well as the y axis from top so what we really want to is that from rotation x axis we you can just transform it to 360 so that it rotates from to the uh, x axis that is our uh, whole button gets uh, uh, x axis uh, transformation and uh, we can just make it to as uh, uh, expected so i really recommend you to play around with those uh, x axis values so along with the y axis here you can see i can just make it to 30 degrees so that it uh, rotates from top to uh, top to bottom so that is how our uh, uh, rotation axis well as the y works and uh, that is really making this whole ui uh, look good so uh, along with that now let's implement button click handler in our uh, uh, .NET MAUI button so whenever I click on this button then uh, I should generate a new event handler that is what happens when this button is clicked so that is how this will click uh, uh, button property is going to work so before that I really recommend you to give the X name for the button so that it automatically will it go is going to take this name and attach it with the click handler that means whenever I uh, hit this new event handler then here you can see that is going to attach with the, this clicked level text and inside the dot cs here at below go below and then here you will see that my per, uh, my red button uh, that is our x name is uh, 
hit what happens whenever whenever this button gets hit so that is how uh, this uh, really works and uh, right now the hot reload does not work and uh, i will just really need to rebuild as well as reapply the changes but in future i'm 100 percent sure this hot reload will work and uh, you will see that uh, whenever the button gets hit then uh, uh, this area that is our uh, uh, the red area that I have uh, highlighted this is called as a breakpoint so whenever i use the breakpoint then it is good the breakpoints are going to get hit whenever the button is clicked after restarting the application let's wait for some time so whenever i hit this button then you can see the breakpoints are hit and then we can just navigate to next uh, breakpoint by hitting f10 or go uh, to uh, next next line so here you can see we can just uh, go to next line uh, as well as step over so here you can see it went to the second line whenever that button was hit so here all the logic as well as the application logics are going to be written over here and that is whenever the button is clicked so here let's uh, add one alert where whenever the button gets clicked so let's quickly add that thing up here this await is going to hold this alert and then uh, is going to help the user seal and then uh, only execute whenever the actions are performed like ok or cancel so here you can see we are going to display some type of alert and uh, the alert might be anything so it, this is the title and then this is the message so, so here you can see the string is title as well as string is message so uh, these are the message we can write anything the title you can write anything as well as the cancel code you can just uh, uh, write anything for the uh, uh, cancel to and here you can see i just put some async as well as await operation for this whole button click and let's wait for some time till our application gets loaded great so we are seeing this button whenever i click on this button then these breakpoints are getting hit so uh, we just need to maximize and then this is the step over that is pressing F10 it is going to generate a pop-up then if the action is performed that is okay as well as cancel then uh, the next operation is going to perform as like this you can see on the breakpoint so that is how we are going to implement the click handler for the .NET MAUI button control and uh, in our next tutorial we'll be using pure C sharp you know to generate this type of button rotation and everything everything and uh, we'll be having lots of fun in our next tutorial that's all for this uh, tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials